The ridiculous cold in the Midwest has gotten so ridiculous, it's turned the metropolis of Chicago into a city in the clouds. Hey, wrong cloud city. There you go. According to NASA, Chicago's air is now colder than the waters of Lake Michigan. As the water's warm, moist air mixes with the cold, dry air above it, it creates a phenomenon called steam fog that's encased the city, leaving it looking breathtaking slash miserable. Well, the dangerous cold is not over yet. There's a wind chill warning in the Chicago area. And Wednesday, we already saw records being broken for that date. And uh, we are still seeing major issues because of this cold, especially in Michigan, where the governor is telling people to turn their heat down to 65 degrees until noon Friday because of a fire that happened at a gas compressor station. And as a result, that is inhibiting our ability to deliver to you the gas that we have in our system. Making it very difficult for people suffering in these below freezing temperatures right now. Here in Chicago, we are seeing close to negative 20 overnight. And this morning, uh, we're learning of snow that's expected later on. The U.S. Postal Service is still not delivering to parts of six states. There's a state of emergency still in effect in at least three states. And we're learning of at least 10 deaths related to this weather, including a University of Iowa student who was found dead on Wednesday. Schools here are also closed for another day and many businesses remain closed. Now here overnight, a lot of Chicago residents were talking about observing a booming noise. We're learning that is because the water underground was freezing with a sudden drop in temperature causing the ground to crack and that's the booming noise people were hearing. So in addition to freezing cold, people were very dis disturbed that something was going on, but really that was a natural phenomenon. Just an example of how extreme this weather is, the coldest temperatures in a generation. We talked about Michigan having to have people turn down their heat. And of course, across the country, three quarters of the U.S. population will see below freezing temperatures before Sunday. So there are still a few more days that the United States will have to deal with this polar vortex. In Chicago, Natasha Chen, back to you.